Hey team, the purpose of this specific video is to walk you through the WOW resources that are located inside Google Drive. Over here on the far left, I clicked on the new button and then I'm going to slide down to where it says more. Certainly you have access to Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, Forms, Drawings, Maps, and Sites. Sites would allow you to design a brand new website. Google Forms allows you to gather survey related data, like how many t-shirts of this type do you need and who wants what size and what's your opinion on such and such and have you completed your digital citizenship requirements and utilizing an online form, you can collect data and things of that nature. Google Slides is the equivalent of Microsoft PowerPoint. Google Sheets is the equivalent of Microsoft Excel. And then in this drop down menu, you have a host of resources that are, for the most part, free. Down here at the bottom of that list, you'll notice that is, there is a plus symbol. By using that plus symbol, you can launch over into this menu where you can find a host of resources. You'll notice how I'm navigating down. I'm going to pause here for just a second. Lucid Press has Lucid Charts, which is the educational equivalent of that same resource. Later in this presentation, I'm going to talk more about that resource. So here I am sliding down just to give you a snapshot of some of the resources that are available to you. We also have the box on the top on the right, which would allow you to search by name, category, or content. On the left, you'll notice how there is the all button with the drop down menu. And then you can search through that content and specifically navigate to the word education. This is where you'll see Lucid Chart, which is the educational version. You'll see how we have Pear Deck. The district talked about that last year. You also have access to SketchUp, which is 3D modeling software. And this specific resource is free and it works perfectly with students. So from here, I'm going to navigate to new. I'm going to come down to more and I'm going to show you just a few resources. I'm going to start with Powtoons. Powtoons would be a great resource for a teacher to navigate through this software in a gate program. I'm not saying that it's only a gate resource. Any teacher can use this resource with any students. However, if you want to use it to its fullest, an after school um, accelerated program might be an option. Powtoons allows you to generate a small movie that is very animated in nature. It's typically teaching in its purpose. Um, you're going to have characters that slide in and out. You're going to have letters that slide in and out. You are the designer of the content that is inside of that resource. There are several different templates to choose from, and then you get to use your own creative power to turn it into something awesome. I'm now going to navigate back over to Google Drive. I'm going to click on new. I'm going to click on more. And this time I'm going to choose Lucid Chart. Inside the Lucid Chart, you have a host of resources to choose from. They are kind enough to organize those resources by category. So if you're in engineering, if you're in math or science, if you serve in a specific industry, there will be mind maps or graphic organizers that are indigenous to the region that you are in. And you'll see on display a number of resources that I've already started. I've used this resource in the classroom before. I don't see a problem with using it in third, fourth grade. Your third graders are going to make very simplistic mind maps or graphic organizers 
in order to utilize a multi-screen interface with lots of language, uh, it might not be the best fit for third grade. Fifth and sixth are more capable of maneuvering through a resource like this. I'm going to click on a sample that's specific to sixth grade and science, and it talks about body systems and diseases and functions and things of that nature. Typically, we ask students to write an entire essay, but it actually takes a lot of creative analysis and thought for them to summarize ideas down into a minute phrase um, or even just a few sentences. And then they have to skillfully choose words that convey that idea. Using Lucid Chart, students are able to choose the shape and the color and the layout for their mind map. And these resources can easily be shared in Google Classroom. Team, thank you so much for paying attention to this tutorial on WOW Google Drive. Thanks so much and have a great day.